Welcome back. I'm Elizabeth Shaw, and I'm sitting here with Ryan Callahan today. Hello, Elizabeth. Hi. So, what are we talking about? Tesla. Yeah. Not the band. Oh. Or the inventor. Oh, okay. So what the else is there? The electric car company. Those are pretty sweet cars, though. Yep. They, are, they make very nice, very expensive cars. Yeah. And they recently announced, basically, that they're going to go open source with all their patents. They sent out a press release saying that from now on, all our patents are available. We will not pursue any legal action against anyone who uses our patents in good faith. Um, they are basically giving up all their company secrets in the hopes of spurring more innovation in the electric car field. That's really brave. Yeah, it's pretty cool. There's been a lot of debate on the issue because some people are like, oh my god, this is the coolest thing ever, and some folks are like really cynical and say, oh, well, they just want to control it. They just want to make their uh, technology the, the gold standard, which like, okay, great, but they're still doing it. Right. I mean, they're still a big company. There's you know, not a lot of downsides for them to do that. Yeah, I mean, the 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 concern is that like, okay, either someone can take their technology and make a better car and then they'll get knocked out of the loop, but the truth is like, Tesla wants to make electric cars. They say their their biggest competitor is not other companies making electric cars because there's not really other companies trying it. Their biggest competitor is companies making gas cars because they want to put an end to fossil fuel and create alternatives for transportation to encourage people to move away from using gas and oil. And the only way they can do that is they can't be the only company creating these cars. They need dozens, hundreds of companies trying to create electric cars because that kind of co competition will spur innovation and lead to electric cars that are more available and cheaper and a legitimate option to gas-powered cars. So it seems like a pretty selfless act, like they're actually really trying to do something positive for yeah. the environment. I mean, I think there's also a business motive too because they are, it is their technology. They're sure. saying like, hey, use our technology, it's the best. But I mean, they're a, they're a business, they're an American business. And if it helps them, like I don't think they should be, uh, they should be judged for that or be like chastised for doing something that is good for people and also good for them. Like, I think so many times people get cynical because if something's not 100% altruistic, they're like, oh, they're just doing it because they want to make money. It's like, yeah, they want to make money, but yeah. they also clearly want to create more electric cars. I mean, if there's more electric cars, it will benefit them because they have the charging stations, they have the cars, but they also will benefit the human race. Because, I mean, I think realistically, electric cars will not catch on, especially in this country, until they are readily available. Like, it's an, if it's an easy situation of like, hey, I can buy an electric car, be in a wait list for a long time, have to find like a charging station. There's only, I think, a hundred Tesla charging stations in the country. Yeah, that's not a lot. You know, have to go wait. And, like, it takes an hour to charge the car sometimes mm -hmm. versus, okay, I'll buy like a Chevy and go to the corner to fill it up and take 10 minutes. Like as long as it's a convenience issue, people are going to keep using gas cars. Yeah, absolutely, especially if you take like, you know, long trips, long mm -hmm. road trips, if you've got nowhere to charge up. Yeah. It's hard enough when you're on a road trip trying to look for a good gas station. Yeah. Which has a charging station. Yeah, and it's and it's it's a convenience issue. Like mm -hmm. people want to go now. They don't want to wait. They don't want to wait to charge their car. So anything that's going to spur innovation and lead to more options and make things faster, I think is only a benefit to the electric car industry, but a benefit to us as consumers because the more options we have, that's the only way we're really going to uh, move away from relying on fossil fuels is to have the option to go somewhere else because you can say all day like oh we shouldn't use oil we shouldn't you know we should uh, fight these oil companies but the truth is like I drive a gas car and mm -hmm. I will keep doing it because it's convenient for me right you know and well, I have a surprise for you I know you're always wanting to make a positive impact on the earth so I've printed out all of these patents for you and now you can go make your own oh as soon my as we're God. done here yes uh, well I have a busy week ahead of me then <laughs> Well, hopefully um, there's other companies out there that are actually really doing this and yeah. taking advantage of it because that's kind of moving us into the future and somebody actually doing something positive that's, you know, we just all have to kind of do it together. Yeah, I mean, this kind of thing is very common in the technology industry, like mm -hmm. Linux, which is an operating software, went open source, and they are now like the gold standard and used in all supercomputers. That's great. Because but it basically what it is, it enables everyone, instead of going off and working on their own and then hoarding the technology, everyone works together and shares the advancements so it's building up together quickly as opposed to everyone trying to protect their market share everyone's working together mm -hmm. so it's i think it really is for the best and i'm excited and i just uh i just have one question how does an engine work <laughs> wow thank you for that I, I just need if i'm going to work at mill mill electric car i just need to know how do cars go <laughs> what makes them go and with that stay tuned for the answer on the next episode of our simple earth i don't know <laughs> thank you ryan so much. I have no idea. <laughs>